Genesis, bring in butane. Okay, so now if I have butane, how would you draw the Newman projection for butane? This is what will happen, right? And now over here, what type of conformation do you have? Everything is completely eclipsing the atoms which are present on the distal carbon. Is that right? So this is what is called as eclipsed conformation of butane because the CH3 on one carbon and the CH3 on the other carbon is exactly eclipsing. The H and H are completely ex eclipsing. So this is a complete or a fully eclipsed conformation and a fully eclipsed conformation for butane is called as syn. Yes, it's syn. Now, if I change the dihedral angle and rotate it by 60 degrees, you get something like this. Now, what is the dihedral angle that I'm talking about? Between CH3 and CH3 in the first conformation, the angle was zero, it was eclipsed. Now, between CH3 of the first carbon and CH3 of the second carbon, the angle is 60 degrees. This is what is called as your Gauche conformation. Now, if I further move it by 60 degrees, what would be the dihedral angle now? The dihedral angle will become 120 degrees. And at this point of time, what will it be called? It would be called as eclipsed conformation. But this eclipsed is different from the eclipsed or the syn conformation that we did because over here, CH3 is eclipsing a hydrogen, not CH3 and CH3. So this is also called as eclipsed. Now, if I move it by 60 degrees more, what is the dihedral angle now? The dihedral angle is 180 degrees and this conformation that you get is called as the staggered conformation. And if you look carefully, that CH3 and CH3 are both exactly opposite to each other. So this is called as the anti-conformation. So staggered, if it is fully staggered, it is called as anti. Fully eclipsed is called as syn. Now if I move it by 60 degrees more, what do you get? It's again a gauche conformation. But if you look carefully, it's exactly the opposite of the second one. And then finally, we move it by 60 more degrees. And this is the conformation that you would get. So these are the five different conformations that you get for butane. Can I get the sixth one? If I rotate it by 60 more degrees, what do you get? It comes back to the first one. So if the dihedral angle is 0 degrees or 360 degrees, the conformation is the same. So these are the five conformations of butane. You want to see how does it look like in the sawhorse projection? Yes, sir. Take a look. That is the sawhorse projection for butane. Now, if I ask you, out of all these conformations, which one is the most stable? Anti-conformation. Why exactly? Because the angle over there is 180 degrees and CH3 is completely opposite to the other CH3. So after anti, you will get the Gauche conformation as the next conformation which is stable. After Gauche, it would be the eclipsed conformation which is not the fully eclipsed one. And finally, the least stable would be the syn conformation. Now exactly similar to what we have done before, Genesis, please plot the graph. Sure, sir. So you have the graph. Now if you look very carefully, this graph has two peaks. Yes, because we had two conformations which were similar. So it starts from the bottom which is anti, moves to the top, then comes to the bottom, then goes top and finally the bottom. So this is how the five conformations are placed for butane. Now if you understand what butane has for the conformations, drawing the conformation for any molecule would become very easy. All you have to do is just focus on two carbons and everything else becomes a substitution. That's it.